Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. In this video, I am explaining the basic parts of a planner machines. So let us see the basic parts of the planner machines and starting with the base. Base or you can say the bed of the machines. Then the second important part table. Then the column of the machine then important part and that would be the cross rail and tool head with the tool post mechanism so let us see with in detail so first one and that will be the base or you can say the bed so bed of the planner is a very large size just you can see and heavy into the weight and it support the columns so that will be the column number one and column number two is being used and all other moving parts like a uh, cross rail mechanisms onto that the tool head and tool and the workpiece so the bed is made with slightly longer or you can say more than twice of the length of the table of the machine so it is provided with the accuracy of the V type of the guideways over the entire land on its top surface and table slides onto that. So the table it will be resting onto the base and the table it will be the slide. So that will be having a reciprocating motions. So basically in case of the planner machines our tool that will be a stationary component and table that will be considering as a movable so tool is being stationary and workpiece that will be feed against the rotating tool or you can say stationary tool so that will be all about the base or you can say bed that will be used into the planner machines second one table so generally the table that will be a heavy rectangular kind of shape of the components which is made of the castings and that will be having a good strength for the restraining the vibrations and the cutting force and this table that will be having a reciprocating motion reciprocates or you can say along the guide weights onto the bed and you can say and to the supports so what happens it carries longitudinal T slots and holes are accommodated to clamping the bolts onto the workpiece so table is driven either by the wearing long hydraulic cylinder or you can say pinion gear drive or you can say rack and pinion mechanism for rotary motion that will be converting into the reciprocating motions so you can easily changing the speed of the reciprocating so all planner have some form of the safety device to prevent the heavy loaded table from the running away in case of the electrical or mechanical failure so in case of the planner our table that is reciprocating onto the base of the machine then third one and that will be the important and that will be the column so basically columns are called as uh, uprights moments so the that will be having uh, two numbers is being used for the planner machines and they are placed on each side of the bed so one is from here and second one is over here so they are heavily ripped to take up the serving during the cutting force so it provides the precision and guideways onto which the cross rails it will be slides like this so up and down so the movement of the cross rails are moves to the tool head up and down for accommodating the different height of the workpiece so basically two columns it will be used to adjusting the height of the tool head with respect to the size of the workpiece so that will be depends upon the 
size of the work piece so this tip of the tool it will be in contact with the work piece material so that height it will be maintaining by the column then fourth important part that will be our cross rails so the cross rails is a rigid box like a casting and connecting to the two housings so what happened as you can see the housing can be clamped at any desired positions into the workpiece side so the cross rails can be raised or lower onto the face of the housings and desired positions by the mechanical system or hydraulic systems or a electrical system so when it is clamped it remains perfectly parallel to the top surface of the table so you can easily adjusting our tool head or you can say tool by the cross rail mechanism finally tool head so generally as the name suggests the tool head carries a tool post and hold the cutting tool the tool is mounted onto the cross rail by the dovetail saddle and the tool post is hinged onto the tool head so during the return stroke of the tool that will be lifted so the material removal that will be only into the forward stroke then the return stroke of the workpiece that will be disengaging the tool so onto that two two columns it will be having a upward motions once again for the forward stroke that will be into the downward directions and once again tool it will be in contact with the workpiece materials so basically planner machine is being used for the heavy job to making a flat surfaces so that are all about the construction of the planner machine so if you like this then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much